what's up people welcome back to my channel now uh, i've realized my reinvented series has been doing really well on youtube you guys seem to love it so i've done a two by one for you lot today uh with compounds uh the whole shebang it's got everything everything you could need as a chad as a solo um so yeah i'm not going to do too much talking through this video if you see a little 2x pop up in the bottom left hand corner then the video is in two times speed uh you can slow it down using youtube settings easy as that anyway enough of me talking let me show you how this bunker works so all you need to do is place a twig half wall foundation under this like so and place a floor triangle on top upgrade that to whatever and you're good to go as soon as you log back in in the morning you're gonna spawn back in your bag come out your door destroy the twig easy as that and you're done so to start with this design, we're going to start with a standard 2x1 foundations and three triangles in front of that. You're going to place a wood door frame right there and you can fill it in with walls. You're going to place one wall, two, two triangles to the left and a door. Place your doors. And we can place a wooden triangle above it like so. Fill the rest of your roof in. And we can place our tool cupboard as far in the left hand corner as we can. Now I'm not going to bother showing you the tier 1 placement, tier 2, everything like that. Because it will take too much time. Uh, we're just going to go straight for the tier 3. And I'm going to leave the tier 1 straight up to you. Now, just to let you know, some of these box placements can be a little bit tricky, so you might have to pick them up, place them again, just to get them. As you can see in the video here, I struggled a little bit, but if you're persistent, you can get it. Now that you're done with all your placements, you can go ahead to your front and delete the front door. You're going to place three triangle foundations, two of them being high, and we can fill the rest in with windows and doors. This is going to create our bunker, and we can place a full wall here, you'll see why later. Go ahead and fill your doors in. And you can fill your window in as well. Go ahead and place the garage door here. And we can create our bunker. The bunker is now currently working. So if you need to log off at any point, just use it. From here, we can go ahead and place our furnace and a garage door in this corner. After that, destroying the woods above it. This is currently what the base should look like. And as I said a minute ago, we can now destroy this wood. You're then going to fill in the second floor with full walls. Now this wall to my right here, you can either make it wood for now, or you can go straight in with the door frame. This is where you're going to place your vendor machine. 
like so. Go ahead and cover your jump up. And we create a shelf here. We're now going to do our deployables, like so. Now all of your deployables are placed, we can go ahead with the honeycomb. From here, we can place all of our barricades on each edge of our base. You want to do this before placing the walls, or else you won't be able to place your walls properly. Now the walls are one of the trickiest things, but if you're persistent and you learn on a build server first, you can get it. So if you want to see it from a top angle, we're aiming for these angles. Exactly the same on the other side. And it lines up perfectly. We can go around to the back side of the base and finish off our walls like so. From here, after this, we can place all of our deployables in the compounds, finish up the electricity and upgrade the base. It's in two times speed. If you need it to be slowing down, please do. And anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
<clears throat> right, let's pick a winner from the last video skin, and it is Sam. Sam, thanks for commenting. Make sure you hit me up on Discord, links in the description, and I'll give you your skin.